I feel the demand wow. mm. uh, to raise young people mm -hmm. because of the future. Mm -hmm. And I have a vision to see Africa at a place where we are going to go global. Yes. We are raising Davids mm -hmm. who are going to slay the giants yes. of this time mm -hmm. because we have different giants yes. and in our days we need also a David mm -hmm. for these days so that we can slay the giant mm -hmm. in our time. Yes. Hello everyone, welcome to Sanana Mitindo here with me, Isaac Barak. Remember we air every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Station Niwema TV. Usisahau, Wema TV. Uh, so our YouTube channel is always there to uploading every Wednesday. So today to na continue series here to your Kenyan orators and speakers. And in the building, I have brought you the best of the best. There is in Kenya our second guest is none other than Dennis Kenyeki. We are so excited to have you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much yes. for coming to the show. Thank you for honoring our invitation. Thank you. Thank yes, you. yes. So you can introduce yourself. Maybe someone is watching this show for the very first time. Nahaju, who Dennis is, you can introduce yourself. All right, thank you so much. Yes. Uh, my name is Dennis mm -hmm. Kanyeki, and I'm a leader. I'm a youth pastor. I lead uh, young people, and I also mentor very many young people. Uh, I'm also an entrepreneur, and I do business, and I do a lot of things. But above all that, I love God, mm -hmm. and I love people. Yes, that is me. Amazing, amazing. We're so excited to have you on the show. Yes. Eh, siku jua, siku wanajua yu biti ya entrepreneur. Yes. Where? Hey. So utatuwa necha, utatuambia one, two, three of how to make money. You know, <laughs> most of the people uh -huh. think think that speakers and orators don't venture into other things. Yes. They think muna kuanga tu, muna ongea, muna preach as our pastor. But it's so amazing yes. to know that you're all around. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So, uh -huh. so where did you grow up? Maybe Mtu Ajui, we want to know where did you grow up? Where did you go to high school? Yes, yes. Uh, well, uh, my journey is interesting. Uh -huh. uh, I was born in Nyeri. Yes. And I was raised in Nyeri. Oh, nice. Uh, half of my life until high school, mm -hmm. whereby we moved to Thika. Uh -huh. I moved to Thika and joined uh, my parents. Yes. In uh, in. In Nyeri, I used to live with my grandparents. Oh, nice, nice. So in high school, we moved to Thika, mm -hmm. and that is where I joined my parents. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I went to school in Nyandaro High School. Nice, nice. I'm an alumni of Nyandaro High School. I went to St. Francis Academy. Oh, that is nice. in Nyeri. Academy. Yes, that is where I did my KCP, and mm -hmm. then I did my KCSE in... Uh, in Nyandaro High School. In Nyandaro High School. And then I did MKU. For a while I did journalism. Mm -hmm. nice. uh, of which uh, right now I'm, I want to venture into another field. Mm -hmm. Whereby I want to do a Bible school. Oh, nice. So that I nice. can get serious with this thing. Mm. Yes. <laughs> it's is, becoming is, serious. Nice. It's serious. <laughs> yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes. So uh, you, you, you have gone to Udienda High School in, uh, in Nyandarwa. Yes. Uh, so I, I, I love that mix of being here and there and there. So uh -huh. So what inspired you to become a speaker? Well, uh, number one, uh -huh. uh, for me, mm -hmm. first of all, it's a calling. Yes. You have to have something that is driving you uh -huh. to just share something with somebody uh -huh. and to just be uplifting uh -huh. to change somebody's life. Uh -huh. And uh, it started like that. Mm -hmm. I began to feel the urge to share with people mm -hmm. something that is going to encourage them, okay. something that is going to make them feel better, something that is going to change their lives. And uh, so as I continued, mm -hmm. I, I realized it is a serious calling mm -hmm. on my life. Mm -hmm. So uh, I began to do ministry mm -hmm. and by gathering people mm -hmm and having to speak to them, having to encourage them, having to uplift them. Mm. And that is how it grew into a ministry, mm. by the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Amen, yes. amen, amen. Yes. But where exactly did it start? From primary? It, it, from it was in primary. In primary. In primary, people would just call me pastor. Okay, uh, class, yes. that is class. Uh, from class seven, uh -huh. uh, people just see me as, Yes, I, I just had something that uh -huh. would just lead me to the altar or uh -huh. to, to just 
the pulpit mm -hmm. to just encourage people with. Mm -hmm. And then I went into high school, I gave my life to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then immediately after also I began to do the same thing. I began to preach to people, I began to uplift people, I began to speak the word of God to many people. Mm -hmm. And that is how it grew to now. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what's your motivation as an individual when you speak to the different uh, young people? What, what's your motivation? What is your agenda uh, for the, this generation? Well, uh, I understand that, number one, mm -hmm. this generation has many giants. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, the recent and the past generations, mm -hmm. they were fighting different things. Yes. And uh, you find that we have a lot of young people today mm -hmm. uh, who are fighting different things mm -hmm. from the previous generations. Okay. So right now there's a generation of mentors mm -hmm. who are from the past generation mm -hmm. who do not uh, synchronize or who do not understand mm -hmm. the giants of this generation. Mm -hmm. So you find there is a misunderstanding mm -hmm. between these two generations that they are trying to solve problems mm -hmm. in our generation using mm -hmm. the schemes of the past generation mm -hmm. of which it is not working. So instead of solving, mm -hmm. this generation is running from this other generation mm -hmm. because they think it is judgment. They think, it, but there's just a lot. Yes. We are fighting mm -hmm. different giants yes. in different times. Mm -hmm. So um, it led me to try and understand this mm -hmm. because I have been through similar things mm -hmm in this generation mm -hmm. so I can understand mm -hmm. what people are going through in these days and times mm -hmm. so I can be able to sympathize with them yes. I can be able to interact with them and know where they are coming from mm -hmm. being that we are fighting the mm -hmm. same giant yes, yes, to yes. conquer the same giant mm -hmm. in our days mm -hmm. and that is my 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 motivation yes 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 so you, you you are passionate about this generation yes and young men I believe you do uh, quite a number of events yes uh, in actually in Nairobi I, get, I, I believe that's the very first time I got to see you yes. as an individual yes. you can tell us about that ah uh, yes, yes 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 yeah. uh, number one we we are trying to we are not trying no mm. we are uh, we are empowering <laughs> Yeah. We are empowering mm -hmm. young people to become, yes. to stand out mm -hmm. in these days and times yes. so that they can rise above their fears mm -hmm. and rise above the giants. We are raising Davids mm -hmm. who are going to slay the giants yes. of this time mm -hmm. because we have different giants. Yes. And in our days, we mm -hmm. need also a David mm -hmm. for these days so that we can slay the giant mm -hmm. in our time. Yes. So we are raising and we are teaching men to become Davids mm. in this time mm. so that we can be able to raise the next generation the right way mm. so that we can have the right families mm. we can have the right government we can have the right people in the future yes. because young people are the future yes. they are going to marry they must marry right so you might yes. you must teach them how to marry right mm. you must teach them to be people of prayer mm. you must teach them to be accountable yes. because they are going to be in government they have to be accountable mm. so they have be, to be people of integrity so we empower them mm -hmm. to be people who can be depended on mm. in the future days to have a stability in the country and yes. a stability for africa mm -hmm. yes what are some of the challenges that you have experienced as a speaker because i believe it's not all rosy mm -hmm. some people see you in this okay i might i might be able to see you from the crowd mm -hmm. in this big event at Nairobi cinema at kicc mm -hmm. and i'm like wow i want to become like dennis mm -hmm. but i believe there are you there are a fair share of challenges that you guys go through yes. so what are some of the challenges that you go through well uh yes. something i would like to say is that um, mm -hmm. as a speaker uh, one of the things that people think mm -hmm. is that you have made it. <laughs> yes. You, they think that uh, whatever you are talking about, you, mm -hmm. are, you, are, you, are, you are done and all yes, that. There yes. is no struggle for you anymore. Mm -hmm. But uh, that is not the truth. Yes. The truth is that mm -hmm. we are all in the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Just that some of us have understood how to maneuver our mm -hmm. ways around. Mm -hmm. And we have to teach some people who yes. may be at the back mm -hmm. the way to go to where we are. Yes. But we are also trying to find our way outside also. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. We know where to hit to kill the giant. Yes. At some point, we know how to evade the spear. Mm -hmm. We know how to dunk from mm -hmm. an arrow and all that. And that is what we are teaching people. But we are still in the battlefield. Yes. If we, if we joke around, yes. an arrow can pass, <laughs> but it, it can kill me. It a bit an arrow. Yeah. Yeah. So we are still in the battlefield. Just that when we when we speak mm -hmm. and when we empower people, we are showing them that yes. it is possible mm. to come out of these things. Yes. It is possible to rise up. Mm -hmm. It is possible to go above your, your fears mm -hmm. and all these things. Mm -hmm. So it is not that we, yes, we have conquered mm -hmm. these things, yes. but we are also uh, at the same battlefield, mm -hmm. just that we have evaded some things and mm -hmm. we are helping people to evade those things mm -hmm. so that we can all go to the other side mm. uh, better. Mm. Yes. You, you've mentioned uh, one popular myth while you're talking about that, one popular myth that people have about uh, speakers and orators, mm. that people think you have made it and you don't go through issues. What's mm. another popular myth that people have uh, or of speakers that we unajuanga? Uh, mimi, as in uh, what one other ningye, I have this and this and this. For me, it's usually mm. the bit where what one could text pale Facebook, Niaje Barak, Niokole Punch, mm -hmm. uh, as in Alafu Nakutani, or Tukawa Tano, or Mekwambia, even and you're like, mm -hmm. Hey, Sijuni Anza Wapi, ni Malizia Wapi, and maybe sometimes you don't even have that cash. Mm -hmm. So, what you, what's your take on that, or what's a popular bit that people have about speakers and orators? Uh, one, one for me <laughs> is that people see <laughs> us in just one dimension. One dimension. They don't look at our other <laughs> dimensions. <laughs> uh -huh. They just look at us as us, uh -huh. as the prestigious part of us. Uh -huh. They, they have because if I, but most of them it's because they've not get got to interact with the other, other our other side. Yes. Because in as much as I am inspiring, mm -hmm. in as much as I look great on mm -hmm. the pulpit and yes. I look all that prestigious, mm -hmm. I'm somebody's brother mm -hmm. and I'm somebody's son and oh. I'm somebody's uh, wow. uh, boyfriend mm -hmm. or, yes. or girlfriend or mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. And that is something that people really don't get. Yes. And mm -hmm. we find that uh, we might be uh, sorting out issues mm -hmm. in the lives of people mm -hmm. and yet we also have battles within yes. our other dimensions of life that we are fighting. Yes. You can find that I might be empowering people to be financially able mm -hmm. and yet I'm trying to clear something <laughs> financial in, yes, <laughs> at the yes, back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so uh, I'll tell people to try and look at us mm -hmm. uh, as, as we are men, mm -hmm. we are men, mm -hmm. we are men, mm -hmm. and we have multiple dimensions. Mm -hmm. So don't just look at the side of us that is, mm -hmm. that is so full of glory mm -hmm. and forget that we have another side of us. Mm -hmm. Because this syndrome yes. is what causes people to be judgmental, mm -hmm. even towards uh, men of God. Mm -hmm. Because when they look at, them, at men of God, mm -hmm. they only want to see perfection. Mm -hmm. But you see, these are also men. So if they, if, if they see a weakness, they start judging the man mm -hmm. because they still don't understand mm -hmm. how to see him yes. also as a man mm -hmm. and not just as a man of God. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. What's your take on mentorship? And are there maybe some people that you have gotten to mentor throughout your years uh, of speaking and uh, presenting in different events? All right. Yes, yes. Wow, that's a good question. Yes. Uh, number one, I believe in mentorship. Uh -huh because uh, you cannot go anywhere mm -hmm. unless you are guided there mm -hmm. by somebody who has been there. Yes. That is why we also have the Bible, mm -hmm. because the Bible is not just a book. Mm -hmm. It is mentoring us mm -hmm. to go to places where others have been. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a mentor. Mm -hmm. uh, that is my pastor. He's mm -hmm. called uh, Dr. Fred Akama from wow. Tent of Testimonies. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has worked with me mm -hmm. all through. Yeah. in my messes, in, mm -hmm. in all these things. Mm -hmm. He has seen me as a man yes. and also as a man of God. Yes. He understands mm -hmm. me in my inward part yes. and also in my outward parts, in mm -hmm. my weaknesses, in my strengths. He has mm -hmm. been able to see all these things. Mm -hmm. And uh, mentorship is very important, yes. even for me as mm -hmm. a believer mm -hmm. and as a man of God. As I mentor people, mm -hmm. I really mentor a lot of young people. Mm -hmm. And one of the key things to look at in mentorship mm -hmm. if you are looking for mentorship is that you have to be open mm -hmm. to the person that you want to follow yes. it is good to be mentored mm -hmm. but at least it is good to be mentored on tv and on youtube and all these mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. but to some point i feel it may not be as effective as 
being up close and personal with somebody, mm -hmm. As an interaction. I know you and yes. you know me. Yes. That is the only way it's going to be effective because mm -hmm. you can be under mentorship from somebody that is in the U.S. Yes. and they don't know you. I'm running. They don't know how you laugh. <laughs> they don't know you. you. You're just being mentored on YouTube. Yes. It is yes. no bad. You can yes. learn, mm -hmm. but if you want to get somewhere, at least get somebody that is up close to you and personal. Mm -hmm. Somebody that you can call when times are bad and you just have a cup of coffee and sit down and you mm -hmm. tell them this and this is happening. Yes. And somebody that cannot judge you, mm -hmm. they cannot look at you the wrong side. They understand you, not just as a man of God, mm -hmm. but they understand that you are also a person mm -hmm. in this world mm -hmm. and you are undergoing the similar situations that are here. Mm -hmm. And I'm supposed to help you come out of that. Very because true. if I only want to see perfection, that will not be mentorship. Yes. It will not be mentorship because the essence of mentorship mm -hmm. is to mold you and make you look more better. Yes. Yes. I found you in a certain state mm -hmm. and my idea is to get you into a different state which is mm -hmm. better than where you are. Yes. So if I only want to see perfection, mm -hmm. I have a problem with people who look too good. Mm. You only show me your your good side. Thank I, you. I I have a problem Perfect with that. One -one. Yes, uko yes. Mele, uko yuma, financially you're okay. Yes. yes. Yes, it means there's a lot of hiding and yes. a lot of masking. Question mark. There's a question mark. If mm. somebody looks too good, they mm. behave too good. Mm. Even when they come to you for mentorship, they only tell you the good things. Oh, I've been doing this. <laughs> I've been oh, no. I I I, I have mm. a problem with that. There is a question. There is mark. a question mark. Yes. Uh, there yeah. there is no mm. such kind of a of a life. Mm. Because I believe if I have to mentor you, I have to know both dimensions. I have to know your your bad issues and your yes. good issues, so that yes. I can know how to get you out of the bad ones mm -hmm. and, and empower your good ones. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I believe you've spoken in very many events. Yes. And uh, this one is a bit uh, off. So, uh, huh. so which is one of the most, uh, okay, one or two or three mm -hmm. moments that have really stood out for you as a speaker, as maybe in a moment in order to live an event, maybe ukangoa, uh, it was very embarrassing or just one moment that was embarrassing for you while at an event? Well, uh, for me, it, it was not really an event. Uh -huh. It was a radio interview uh -huh. in Kikuyu. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So I, I, I had not spoken Kikuyu for, for some quite time. A while. For some time. And the way your English is very good. Uh, yes, uh -huh. yes. So I got to some point uh -huh. where I'm, I'm, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just talking to them in English. I told them to bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, some people that were listening, some parents, uh, they were just telling me how my Kikuyu is bad and it's all that. just bad. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm, uh, yes, exactly. Exactly. Yes. I'm, I'm twanging in Kikuyu. <laughs> I know, okay. Yes. So any other moment that was embarrassing for you? Well, uh, I think uh, I think it was uh, it was in a crusade. Mm -hmm. I, I do interpretation. Mm -hmm. And at times you can be yeah, in, 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 any, yeah, any, in any 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 okay. according to depending on the speaker and what yes, he wants yes. to. Mm -hmm. So I there is this fast person. Mm -hmm. He's just moving fast. And he has an English yes. that has vocabulary. <laughs> and you're trying to keep up. <laughs> tricky is that. Yeah, yeah. the tricky. Yeah. So people are just, are just there looking at you and laughing because mm. you're interpreting opposite. Yes. The, what he's saying, mm. it's like these guys are preaching two different things. Yeah. The, the, the preacher and the interpreter. So mm. it was very embarrassing for mm. me. Mm. And uh, I'm, I'm still learning. Mm. Right now, I'm, I'm better. Yes, 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 I'm better. You're growing. Yes, I'm growing. Becoming better. Yes. Yes. So, uh, to wrap up, show sure, what is your vision as an individual? Where do you see yourself in the next, like, say maybe 10, 15 years? What are you planning to do as a speaker? Okay. Yes. Uh, number one, mm -hmm. I I have a vision mm -hmm. to empower Africa. Mm -hmm. That that is why uh, uh, I I feel the demand. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, to raise young people mm -hmm. because of the future. Mm -hmm. And I have a vision to mm -hmm. see Africa at mm -hmm. a place where we are going to go global yes. and start uh, supplying mm -hmm. all these things. Mm -hmm. And besides ministry, mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, intentionally empower young people mm -hmm. in various sectors, okay, in, nice. including uh, education, mm -hmm. agriculture, mm -hmm. 
finance, cryptocurrencies, and all these things. Nice, nice. Because these are the next uh, big catch mm -hmm. in future. Mm -hmm. Because God is trying to raise Africa, mm -hmm. and we have to provide him a platform mm -hmm. that he can use to raise mm -hmm. young people. So we are preparing vessels. And one of the things is training these people in all these things, mm -hmm. especially agribusiness. Yes. Right now, Africa is at a place where it's supposed to be feeding the world. Mm -hmm. And that is what I want to awaken wow. in young people. Wow. The vision is not just for the church to mm -hmm. expand mm -hmm. and to see people and mm -hmm. to see the power of the Holy Spirit. The anointing goes beyond the four corners mm -hmm. of the church. Mm -hmm. And that is dominion in the marketplace. Yes. That is dominion everywhere. Mm -hmm. So we are going to empower these people mm -hmm. and see that maybe in the next 10 to 15 years, mm -hmm. Africa is going to be somewhere mm -hmm. in leadership, in regards to the market, in regards to education, mm -hmm. health, everything. Mm -hmm. Every sector, we will make sure that we have touched mm -hmm. as the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And that is what I am empowering these young people to do. Nice, nice. Because we, in their midst, we have politicians, we have people in the media, mm -hmm. we have people that are supposed to be in education, we have yes. people every, in every sector, it's well represented. Mm -hmm. So by the time it is 10 years, mm -hmm. we will have built capacity in people mm -hmm. to be able to become strong enough mm -hmm. to be voices yes. everywhere. Yes. yes. There is a challenge in our generation, especially the young generation, whereby unakuta uh, mtu maybe ameamka, anashinda tupale YouTube. It's good. Anashinda tupale YouTube. Sai kwa zata kuna Netflix. And we, wengine ni drugs. There are so many challenges that very many young people are facing in our generation. Mm -hmm. uh, this is now very off course. Can you take us uh, through one day with De uh, Dennis Kanyaki? What do you do from waking up till you jioni kifika? How is your program? And you at least what you are doing, you're not talking about these things. There's, there's a culture that you as an individual, you have. Uh, what's your culture? What's the thing that you do from morning till evening? What time do you wake up? Okay, uh, number one, I tell people, uh -huh. uh, for you to be fruitful, uh -huh. you must have a routine yes. and a culture. Uh -huh. let, I, let me call it a culture. Uh -huh. Now, I was telling somebody actually in the morning, yes. for, for you to reflect certain results in your life, you need to develop a certain culture yes. for your life. Uh -huh. You must know that on Monday I do this, uh -huh. On Tuesday, I do this. On mm -hmm. Wednesday, I do this. On Thursday, I do this. Mm -hmm. And if it is not this, I'm not doing anything that yes. is that is outside. Yes. These are if if we are not meeting mm -hmm. within my 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 program, mm -hmm. I, I I feel that mm -hmm. that is off me yes. and it's not going to be fruitful. Mm -hmm. So uh, number one, I'm 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 mostly I'm a night person. Mm -hmm. I sleep late. Mm -hmm. And I wake up not late, mm -hmm. but a bit early. Mm -hmm. uh, if 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 I wake up, uh, I wake up around eight. Eight a.m. Yes, that mm -hmm. is my my routine. I wake up mm -hmm. eight a.m. Mm -hmm. And uh, if I have to complete something mm -hmm. in the morning. So you take your breakfast at eight a.m. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Me, me, I'm a bachelor. I'm not. Ah. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> that much into food. Uh -huh. Actually, I might eat even in the evening because whoa. it's not in my head actually whoa, whoa, it's not whoa. in my head sometimes okay food is important it but is but important. if <laughs> but for me it can keep yeah. my head okay. till yeah. evening so you that's a, 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 yes okay. if i have to do something mm. i do it around that time mm -hmm. um in the morning between morning mm -hmm. and around uh, if i have a meeting mm -hmm. it is around between morning mm -hmm and around 2 p.m. 2 p.m. So from 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, to around 7, mm -hmm. uh, most of that time I have devoted to to praying. I go to church. 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Yes, Ooh, just to have some some devotional time and all that. Amazing. I'm also not the kind of people mm -hmm. that I I pray in the night. No, mm -hmm. I, I pray during the day. Oh, and nice. Maybe preparation for mm -hmm. sermons and all that and getting into the Word of God. Maybe from 7 now, uh, if I have online meetings mm -hmm. on our platforms, I'm going to do that. Okay. Maybe people responding to texts mm -hmm. uh, from WhatsApp and all that. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I'm going to watch something in the, in the, at night, like a movie or yeah. a sermon. Yeah. Yes. Nice, nice. Yes. Men of God don't watch movies. 
so you watch movies yes Apart yes from, you have to if the law day has been long you have to at least take some time to yes at, at yeah. least I, i i need to mm. to get some time off. yes 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 so what are to wrap up show yes uh, thank you so much for coming yes but before then mm. i want us to do the pop quiz all right pop quiz ni maswali tu tano very simple questions that uh i just you day to day normal thing mm-hmm. so number one, mm. what's your favorite food my favorite food yes uh huh I love fish. You love fish. Yes, and yeah. ugali. Fish and ugali. Yeah. So tukikuchukua leo tukupeleke Kisumu County. Uko sawa sawa. Yes, yes. Because uko ni unaamka asubuhi breakfast, ugali na samaki. <laughs> yes, yes. Lunch ugali na omena. Yeah. Sapa ugali na mbuta. Yeah. So so you are comfortable with that place. Yes, I love fish. <laughs> okay. Yes. What's your favorite destination in the world? What's a place where you would love to visit any time tukikwambia kama sana tunataka kupeleka mali where would you choose to go I love China China yes eh. because of the innovation that eh. is going on there Nice nice Yes Karibu I... nidhani unataka kusema China because of karate as in fun 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 Ah no no no, no. <laughs> You no. don't love karate and no. it's eh. No I love action eh. I, I watch action, action movies. movies yes <laughs> <laughs> but uh, i love china because of the technology that is happening there hey, nice. i feel that we can borrow so much from them mm-hmm. yes nice nice what's your favorite pet i love dogs a uh-huh. uh, german shepherd to be precise yes no 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 not these small small ones uh-huh. yes what's your favorite mobile phone application ile mnatumianga sana eh whatsapp whatsapp hiyo ni kama ofisi kwangu hiyo ni ofisi yako hiyo unatumianga sana 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 yes what else do you enjoy doing apart from the many other things that you do well i enjoy hanging out with friends yes uh when when i'm free mm-hmm. we organize most of the times when we are free uh-huh. or when i feel like i need to take a break uh-huh. for some time yes uh we hang around with friends mm-hmm. like most of this weekend mm-hmm. uh, my week my last week was very intense mm-hmm. so i have spent most of my weekend with friends mm-hmm. just hanging around traveling going mm-hmm. out and all that Apo kwa traveling, swimming uh, can i be one of your friends yeah. Apo kwa traveling ni kwa na uki travel unaenda na it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay yeah, you will yeah, tell yeah, me sasa. Yes. Okay so 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 but yeah. thank you so much yes. uh, for coming to the show it has thank been you so very much. exciting mm-hmm. uh, it has been an amazing uh, conversation especially the beat of the youth and your vision uh, for the youth in Africa mm-hmm. I really have loved that uh, so as we wrap up the show you can just maybe there is someone who wants to reach out to you anataka maybe kukuwa mentored uh, anataka kukuwa uh, uh, kuku meet So where can we find you on your social media platforms which which are uh, some of the social media platforms that we can find you Well uh um, That's your camera you can just Yes s- um Well I'm on social media I'm actually on on Instagram that is the one I use for for social media in the mass reach out I use Instagram and my Instagram name is sa sa dennis kanyeki sa underscore dennis underscore kanyeki Uh, if you want to reach me you can just from there and then if we have other communication inbox you my number from there yes yes amazing thank you so much for coming to the show thank it you. has been an honor yes. having you on the show amen yes yes so that was all from us here at Zanana Mitindo it has been an amazing session with Sir Dennis Kanyeki see you next time here on Wema TV I am your host have been your host Isaac Barak